G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a little experiment for you today. I'm gonna to show you the difference in cells between the spot on treadmill silicone and the coconut milk hair serum. So I'm gonna use these two products, okay? So that one will be the silicone and this one will be the dimethicone because dimethicone is the main ingredient in the coconut milk hair serum. It's, it's a thicker, um, oilier sort of a, a product. This one's much thinner. This one's like water. This one's more of like a syrup consistency. Okay, uh, pouring medium is 60% glue, 40% water. And what I did was I made up uh, 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint in each cup. <clears throat> so I made 600 grams of paint and then I just halved it. I put half into this side as well. So they've each got exactly the same, 300 grams, uh, 10 ounces and 300 grams, 10 ounces. So I'll layer them in the cups, but let's pop the oil in first. So this one can be the treadmill and I'm just gonna do one drop in each. Because it's only got you know 50 grams of uh, pouring medium in it now with with this um, I don't like to use the pump because when you squeeze it you get like probably 20 little drops out so I put it in one of these little bottles similar to this it's got the same little nozzle on it because tr as I said trying to pump out one drop is just going to be impossible so Do that that way i remember so let's just open that nozzle some people pull the nozzles off don't do that just twist it love the smell of this stuff whoops <laughs> did you see how that poured in i'm gonna have to get that out oh dear if you do put too much oil in just grab a bit of paper towel and just sit it on top and it'll just soak up the oil that's sitting on top. All right, I'll try again. One drop. Well, I won't put any in that one. So you hardly have to squeeze. Whoops, one drop. It's much easier. It's, it's much more difficult, I should say, just to get one drop out of this because it's so thick. It kind of wants to have a little train come along behind it. I'm not even squeezing, I'm just holding it there and it just drips out. So just be very careful because too much coconut milk hair serum is not a good thing. All right, now let's just stir these up. So the consistency just leaves a little mound. Bear with me, I've got 12 cups to stir. Won't be too long. All right, now this coconut milk hair serum side. So because it's thicker, it will need a little bit more of a stir because you know it needs to be broken up more. Otherwise, you get a big blob in your in your painting of oil. So just be careful. Make sure you stir it really well. If I had more time, I'd probably stir it more than this, but this will do for now. Still getting a decent stir, isn't it? There's not a lot of paint in there. Hopefully I'm stirring it enough. Okay, so this is the order I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, back to dark. So same on both. <clears throat> All right, let's get to layering. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether to use this cup or the, the smaller cup. This one. I'm just not sure if it'll all fit in there. Um, oh, that's all right, I'll go with the big one. <clears throat> go with the big one. So we'll layer this one first. A little bit of navy. And then we've got some pale turquoise. These are all global paints today. They are a very similar consistency to Montmartre paints, the Montmartre Studio Acrylic. Uh, so there are quite a few 
different to Montmartre paints. So just be careful when you're buying them. I use the Montmartre Studio Acrylic. It's a nice thick, um, well it flows easy sort of a paint. There are a couple of others. There's Dimensions, I think, which is a much thicker, oilier sort of paint. I did try it, but I prefer this one. So if you're not in Australia and you can't get global, grab some um, Montmartre. It's very, very similar. Looks like I'm going for three layers here, guys. <laughs> Should have just done two, hey, and been done with it. But I'm going for three by the looks of it. Come on, someone come down and help me do this side, please. <laughs> I'll do this one, you do that one. We'll get it done quick, hey? Oh, well. <clears throat> Just fast forward if you don't want to watch me lay a paint. It won't be too long. It's part of the process, isn't it? Uh, so Monday today, I have the day off work. And my daughter Christy's still here. She came up for her birthday weekend. And today, or well, this evening, we're going to go and go to the movies. And I have dinner out and go to the movies. Because we like scary movies and zombie movies and all that kind of thing. So we're going to see Zombieland 2 tonight. Which will be nice. Grab some dinner first and then go to the movies and get some ice cream and a popcorn to eat in the movies for dessert. Sounds good. <laughs> and then I just get to paint most of the day, really, which is good. And then I'm back at work tomorrow. My roster's different every week, so I can't really plan very far in ahead ahead <laughs> yeah it's different every week so i have to wait for it to come out and then i can plan what i want to do but it's never the same every every week's different okay I'm trying to hurry you guys so that's about half a cup hey, of the big cup i think if i'd gone with the little cup it would have been quite full to try it one day see how full it will get with some amount of paint on it I won't flip this over yet I'll wait until the other one's layered and then I'll flip them both at the same time okay here we go navy I'm just going to put them here so it's easier for me to reach turquoise uh, this is a dark green this one's deep sea and just a regular white this one is called coastal turquoise it's turquoise with a little bit of blue in it and this one is aqua green okay let's go again <clears throat> And you know I like the blues and greens and to do a test, you know, with products. I thought I might as well go with the, the colours that I like, the blues and greens. So now they're going to give me good results. I've been doing some purples and pinks and turquoises lately, so I've had enough of those. Done some greens. Done a few sandwich paws. Did you guys like my sandwich paws that I did? They were a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing those. Wouldn't mind doing some more actually. Because I've got the two that I made, the big ones. If I make another one uh, in similar colours, then I've got a triptych to hang in my house. So I think I'll do that. A little bit more um, green in that next one, I think. So they'll all be greens and blues, but one will be mainly blue, one will be blue and green, and then one will be mainly green. And I think that'll be nice hanging all in a row next to each other so I'll, I'll be doing that one soon as well just a little bit of white or something in this paint it's i don't know when i pour it out it's looking a bit streaky it's weird 
Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Gee, it takes a long time, doesn't it, to layer two cups? But it's just something we have to do, isn't it? It's part of the art. When I get my paints ready, I put the music on, close the door to the studio. I'm one of those that sings with the radio. <laughs> I get the radio going and I sing and I mix paint and I stir paint and bop around the studio. <laughs> Just as well no one can see me. I'm sure it's quite embarrassing. Um, anyway, it's fun. It's quite relaxing, you know, mixing paint. All right, that's the last one. We're done. So just remember the one on my left, your right, is the coconut milk hair serum. And my right, your left, is the treadmill silicone. All right, let's wash my hands. Look at that. Grubby, aren't I? <clears throat> so I've only got the um, the one one cookie cooler, a cookie cooling rack, and I've just cut up one piece of card and I'm going to use it on both. I don't know, maybe it's a better idea to, I don't know, maybe I can tip, tip both at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. You can just go there. You can go there. Um, actually, I'll do one first and then I'll do the other. Because the card's quite thick, I can actually pick up the card and move it around. Let's wait for that to come down a little bit. Probably, see, it's got quite a long way to come down, so hopefully it doesn't muddy too much as it comes down. Probably should have gone with the smaller cup. That way it would have been full. Otherwise, when you flip it, it the colours blend. So you're better off using um, a smaller cup if you can, so that the cup fills or the paint fills the whole cup. You don't want to have too much of a gap there. All right, here we go. Treadmill silicone. One can flip over there while I do this one. See, it's quite a thick, thick bit of card. I can move it around quite easily. Okay, so that's that one done. Bit of oil there that I didn't stir properly. Now you move over so I don't get my fingers into you. you're done as well okay so that one's got more cells coming up straight away hey okay let's move everything out of the way and give the silicone oil a quick torch Too close. It's good to having a side by side experiment like this, isn't it? I don't think I've ever done one with the silicone oil and the hair serum. Okay, we'll let that sit for just a minute while I do this side. Do the hair serum. got a bit of lacing here but I don't know if that's to do with the oil or that's just the way that I've flipped my cup over. Oops, too close. I'm 
just concentrating, not trying not to um, torch too close. <laughs> if I tend to go a bit quiet, it's because I'm really concentrating and I don't want to go too close with my torch. All right, that'll do. So, how are they looking so far? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so that you get a little bit closer and maybe you can see the difference. Okay, that's pretty close, eh? Hey? So, um, I can see that on the left hand side the cells are a little bit smaller. Um, right, I'm going to get down and have a look down here at them. Yeah, these ones have stayed a little bit smaller. These ones have grown a little bit more. Um, there's more wobbly, wobbly cells in this side. I'll use this pointer. Um, there's some of the cells are more sort of wobbly. It's still good though. I'm, I'm just like being really, really picky here. Um, no caterpillars. Oh, a little tiny one there. There's a couple of little caterpillars here where I've torched too close. Um, that cell's a little bit wobbly. I did get a big blob there of oil because I didn't stir it. And I got a big blob there because I didn't stir it as well as I should have. All right, so let's tilt um, a little bit. Actually, maybe I can do both at the same time. <laughs> Cheat and just do this. So all I want to do is just basically stretch them. You know, I've already gone over the sides. So just basically stretching the cells out. This is good. Hey, look, I'm doing two at once. Woohoo! <laughs> look at me go! <laughs> oh, now I don't know where to put them back again because I haven't got markers. I have to jump back up my ladder and have a look. Just moving all over the place. Oh, look, there's dents there where it was. So hopefully that's the right spot. Let's clean off there so that you can see where the end of the card is. My cookie cooling racks have got so much paint on them, they, the paint's not flowing through anymore. Okay. Um, let's tilt a little bit more. Shall we tilt a little bit more? Open themselves up a little bit more. Or are we happy with them, the way they are? I don't like to over tilt because, you know, you know me, I like to have pretty cells, pretty round cells. So, whoops, oh no. I touched that one. It's a problem with having two on the same. Okay, just have to tilt a little bit now to get rid of that. Just hang on to it so it doesn't move. Okay, that's it. That's as far as I'm going to go. And um, I'm going to take my gloves off and I'm going to take you down for a close-up so you guys can see what you think okay so actually I'll just leave it up there and talk to you about this for one minute the cells on the right to me look a little bit bigger and they haven't kept their round shape as much as the cells on the left so this, the coconut milk hair serum is a much thicker, like I said, like a syrup. So 
it tends to have, it's hard to explain, it's kind of more elasticity, I think, because it's so thick, it kind of stretches more. That's how I see it. It's my, how my little brain is thinking about it. Whereas the treadmill milk, the treadmill silicone is quite thin, it's like water. So the cells pop up and they just stay because they haven't got, it's not stretchy, you know, that just stays where it is. So anyway, that's, that's how I figure it. So that's why I kind of headed away from the coconut milk hair serum. When I did start pouring, I poured with the hair serum um, but then yeah I just changed uh, because I preferred the cells that the other one made so that's them there let's have a look at the coconut milk hair serum cells still pretty like if this is all you've got that's fine you know it still makes cells and you know my gosh they are beautiful cells but if i have to be really really picky i just think that some of them have not kept their shape as well that's that one moving over to the treadmill silicone Cells have stayed a little bit smaller. They haven't stretched as much. Um, they've, yeah, see how they've stayed sort of round? You can see the rings around them are still round. Whereas over here, the cells are more, well, they're not as round. They're kind of more starting to lose their round shape. So can you guys see that? See what I mean? All right, so anyway. That's enough of that. <laughs> Hope you've learned something. So the coconut milk hair serum, it does work for sure. It makes lovely cells. But if you're like me and you just want perfect cells, then the treadmill silicone, only because it's a little bit thinner. The treadmill silicone is quite expensive to buy, but um, the postage is expensive. But one bottle, you know, it'll last you a year. So just be aware of that. But yeah, both work. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. Hope it helped you. And um, I'll see you for the next one. Okay. <laughs> Bye for now.